National Educator. Hello student, I am teacher third years Baluka and today I am teaching chemistry form 3. Our topic of interest today is organic chemistry 1. Our subtopic is alkanes. Welcome to our lesson today. Let's start by looking at our lesson objectives. By the end of our lesson today, you should be able to give them the UPAC name of alkanes. And the UPAC name we mean now the, 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 the name that are identified by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. Number two should be able to draw the structure of an alkane. Let's look at what is nomenclature? And nomenclature is simply, it, it is derived from the word name. Nomenclature of alkanes refer to the systemic, systematic naming of organic compounds as recommended by International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. So we are looking, we are looking at laid down rules. There are some rules that are being followed. That's why we talk about the systematic naming. Wherever you talk about nomenclature, you must have, you must be systematic. There must be some rules that are followed to come up with particular names. So we are looking at those rules. So we start by looking at now the rules of nomenclature. And we start by looking at the first rule of nomenclature. The first rule of nomenclature I state that now you select the longest continuous carbon chain as shown on the screen. So we are looking at the, this is the carbon chain that we have here. How many carbon atoms there? One, two, three, four. So that, that uh, uh, compound has four carbon atoms and therefore we call it butane because the longest continuous carbon chain has four carbon atoms. Let me explain this. So looking at that, what is the longest continuous chain here? We can be able to identify. We have, we have several chains, one, two, three, four. We can also have, we can also have one, two, three, four, five. So we have two chains there. We have one, two, three, four. And we also have one, two, three, four, five. So the longest continuous chain has five carbon atoms, not four. Therefore, the name here will be called pentane because it has four carbon atoms. It has, it has pentane because it has five carbon atoms, pent, uh, which means five. So whatever I'm saying is that we are talking about longest continuous, not longest stride. So many of the learners you may get confused between longest stride, so that when you're trying to get the longest continuous, you just pick this one because it's stride. But you're looking at now, as long as there is a connection, this carbon is linked to the other, that is a continuous chain. This, we have a carbon here, but not linked to the fifth one, so we cannot count this. That's why we are talking about longest continuous. Let's look at another example we are having there. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 
the longest continuous carbon chain there are six carbon atoms and that becomes hexane. 